Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. I'm out, it's Saturday, I've got my working permit and I'm at uh, Deer Park Aquarium where I've been working the last few Saturdays. Just thought I'd do a quick video because Dave's got a whole heap of uh, dry goods in that uh, we want to promote and also show the range that he carries. So I um, figured I'd grab the camera and uh, take you guys along for the ride. So let's head in on store, head on in store and uh, check out what he's got. We've got the camera in just before the uh, doors open to the public and uh, we'll pop in and see Dave, the man himself, see what uh, stuff he's got. Let's lock this door behind me because we're not quite open yet. Hey Dave, now I hear you've got a fair bit of uh, dry goods in this week. You want to run us through some of the stock you've got? It's going crazy at the moment. If you see the mess, I haven't had a chance to put anything <laughs> on yet. But we'll oh. through that day by day. Yeah, I'm here to lend a hand. I'll see what I can, uh, what dint I can make this week. Frozen uh, food's still nice and full. We can't get a couple of lines like Rodifers at the moment, but for the most part, it's all available. Nice, nice. I mean, you've got marine mix, you've got mysis, you've got brine. At least, yep. Yeah, you've got the ones that often are hard to get, so that's that's always good. We've got plenty of ARM media in stock in both course and extra course. That has its moments being available and then not being available for months. Or yeah, time. I know as a big calcium reactor fan, I often have a couple of tubs of that on hand because um, you can guarantee when you need it. That's when you can't get it. So to see a um, a good, uh, maybe a dozen or more uh, tubs of it there on the shelf is a great welcoming yeah. sight. <laughs> and then and then another 30 or so up on the shelf there. So yeah, that's always good to see. I mean, I, it's still the sort of thing I probably have a couple of tubs at home to be safe, but um, good to see that it is available again. We've got most of our large Twinsy order in this week. We've still got a few boxes coming next week, but we've got the uh, return pumps, all the care magnets, the magnets have a little stainless blade attachment on the front so you can run either the stainless or the plastic blade. Yep, yep. And they're all coming now free with the, uh, the booster which is to make them float. Nice, you can see on the box here, this one actually says with the new care booster. Nice boxes, yep. But the ones that don't have that on the box, they come with the, the float attachment outside of the box. Yeah. They get thrown in for free, which is a nice little touch. But the nano pumps, we've got the return pumps for your nano tanks, all your reactors and things as well. Nice, nice. We've got the CO2 regulators finally back in stock and the solenoids next to them. For sure, that's something that I know because again, I, I do run calcium reactors and a lot of people ask me what regulators I run. I'm a big fan of the uh, carbon doser regulator, but they're absolutely mouthwateringly expensive. So the next option I suggest is the Tunzi regulator and they're so hard to get hold of here in Australia that um, it's uh, good to see that you've got some in stock. And you've also got, these are the solenoids that go with them as well, yeah? Them, yeah, yeah, good quality CO2 solenoid, hard to find. We've got the 9001 skimmers, again, all your water box cubes, smaller nano tanks. Yeah, one of the few out. nano skimmers that I think actually does something other than just to use power and produce some sort of bubble, it actually does produce some skimmate. And it's a skimmer that I run on the uh, Idiot Proof Reef Tank, the water box cube 20 couple of the uh, 9004 for a slightly larger nano tank if it fits. Nice, nice. Even got a wave box there, something you don't see every day. Nice big wave box. Push some water. Up on the wall, we've got all the active forest test kits are back in stock finally. We've got the ICPs behind the counter. Beautiful. Um, we should have the Triton ICP in about two weeks time. Yep, yep. Yeah. Most of the aquarium systems range at the moment. So they've got the Zaptasia, which for me works a bit better than the Aptasia X. Ooh, controversial. It's fine that we don't have to get it inside the actual Aptasia as much. It does a brilliant job just burning them from the outside. Yeah, nice. Start your tank. Basically, it's all run by Dr. Tim's, um, just in a package where it lays out different vials for different days. It takes all the guesswork out of those the ammonia drops. The aquarium systems, various systems from start your tank, maintain your tank, colour up your tank and algae control for your tank. Basically the Dr. Tim's program is all just rolled out into a simple to use platform. You get a different bar for a different day, a card that has the calendar and tells you which bar which day as well. Nice. It takes the guesswork and um, the dose rates out of it for you. Perfect, perfect. Got some uh, Prime 16 HDs in. Plenty of Primes, plenty of brackets for those as well. Yeah, that can, often, get that can often be the missing part. You get the lights, but uh, you've got the flex arms, you've got the brackets, tank mounts. Got it all there, good to see. 
Got Kessel dongles. Yeah, the Wi-Fi dongle. Got the uh, Auto Aqua Smart shut off, which is the solenoid version, so you can actually turn your RO off when your reservoir is full with the magnetic attachment. There's the uh, ICP tests you talked about before from Aquaforest. Got the uh, PacSun uh, camera adapter, so you can put your uh, your camera into the water surface and actually have a look, well, the lens anyway, into the water surface. Got a Hydra 32 HD, got a Vectra L2. Number of... The uh, barb and cage kits for all the different size Vectras. Yep, yep. That one's... Oh, yep, that's a different one, the ones yep. over here. So you get for looking through the camera lens. Inline TDS. Yeah, these little things are a um, absolute ripper. They're very affordably priced and um, just, just revolutionise RO making and checking your um, TDS rather than trying to catch some water and then test it with a pen. You can actually just um, you can just have that built in line, so you don't have to worry about having any contamination in the cup that you're collecting the water in. It just tests it as it produces it, which is pretty nifty. Good range of uh, different uh, seaweeds available. With the uh, veggie mags there as well. Yeah, nice, nice, yep. Yeah, if you're sick of uh, the suction cup ones, grab a uh, Two Little Fishies veggie mag. Nice, nice. Now, I believe you've got all sorts of acrylic sumps in, Dave. We've got the e-shops up the top there, trying to clear that out. It's taking up too much space. So the e-shop sump up there, we're just trying to clear it out. It's sitting around a bit too long, taking up a bit too much space. And all the stuff coming at the moment space is very limited space is a premium so you've taken 300 bucks almost half price um on the eShop's acrylic sump nice little unit for a uh nice little nano tank i guess just upgrade your sump and then uh down here you've got uh, a cove sump nice medium-sized cove sump yeah this thing's this is a fair beast and i do love the coloration for um particularly for the apex fanboys out there it's got the beautiful white and orange that'll go low under um your tank lights quite nicely you got some dosing lines you've got um as you water in you've got a filter sock holder or you can change it out to something else you can run your skimmer here uh what do we got what do we use these sections for return pump and return um, pump. the other one you can use is either a refugium or a media box yeah nice um, and good thing about this sump is instead of being forced to use the socks the sock holder isn't actually glued in place so okay. you can actually run a roller mat or something similar in its place yeah nice no, quite flexible to modify the uh, Plastic. Yeah, nice, and it's got all the cable cutouts and everything there, so your cable routing is going to be nice and tidy with the lids, which is cool to see. And I did notice hiding over here, you've also got a um, sea torch sump, which um, this thing's an absolute beast too. He's kind of hidden there uh, the 200. <laughs> under the uh, cove skimmer, cove but um, skimmers everywhere. <laughs> this is an absolute treat of a sump. This one. This one's a PVC. Um, sump, it still has your dosing lines, but you've got two different options. You've got an option for your John Guest or just your straight hose. Straight hose go in there, runs, yeah, as you say, PVC. You've got titanium screws, super solid build, really nice little unit. And then uh, you mentioned you've got cove skimmers everywhere. I can see a big one. Oh, that's a sea torch skimmer there. That's going to be, uh, that one's going to go on one of the shop tanks, I think. If it sells in the first four to six weeks, we'll sell it. If not, it's going to go under the SPS tank. Nice, um, nice. Just don't have the time to do that modification at the moment, so it can sit there. If it sells, we'll buy another one. Fair enough. And uh, the uh, Cove skimmers, you got a few of those in at the moment? Yeah, we got a big shipment in on Wednesday. We sold that out on Wednesday, so we got another shipment in yesterday. Um, pretty much, we've got a large range of the 130s at the moment. 590 bucks for a skimmer that'll do up to a 6B2B2, but 4B2B2 is the sweet spot for it. Nice. And it still fits in your mini reef 90s and things like that. Yeah, it's a nice small footprint. Runs an aqua deep pump from Germany, dead silent. Yep. Uh, there's one point of adjustment to them, so you're not over complicated with too many adjusting. Sure, sure. Uh, with the calcium reactor in the box up there, I'll try and get that out today or tomorrow. Yep, run some cove. The rest of this calcium reactor and then a couple of cove skimmers that are coming home with me for a little bit more of an in-depth review we've got a uh, 250 and a 250 pro in these boxes so um, I'll take those home and uh, put them through their paces you've also got more cove skimmers sitting out there despite selling out you've got a big follow-up order of them in uh, what else you got Dave you got uh, some reef cyst tanks in yeah we've got two foot and three foot still in stock in black 
Nice, nice. We've got uh, heaps of the life rock. We've got the standard shapes. We've got shapes. We've got arches. We've just sold out of the mushrooms and the trees, but they're, I think, due in this week. Nice. You've got Plenty some... sand down in the corner there as well. Sand and a couple of varieties. You've got some other artificial rock options there. And then uh, just a small uh, assortment of Ecotech hiding up there in um, a point of sale position. No, not at all. <laughs> Hidden up above the... Um, up above the door. <laughs> Just a little bit of the um, Ecotech range, whether you're looking for... Um... Alright, so ranging from the uh, MP60s, MP40s, you sold out of the MP10s at Yesterday, least? Yeah, yep. Yep. Uh, the, what are they? The Gem 5s, are they? The Gen new lights? 5 ratings. 30 blues, 30 pros, 15 pros, 15 blues, mounts, <laughs> brackets. You name it, you got it all in there. So uh, if you're looking for uh, an upgrade to your LED system or, um, or you want to add a bit more flow with the new Mobius enabled uh, MP Vortec pumps, you know where to go. It's hard to see, but there is good numbers of each of those lights there as well. Nice one, nice one. And then of course you got all your usual uh, supplements and range there. You got the full uh, Coral Essentials, including uh, some of their black labels. You got their little uh, black label nano kits there. Got aquaforest uh, components, strong and individuals. You got the aminos, the vitalities, the fish vitamins, the garlic oils, all of their uh, buffers and powders and uh, supplements, including uh, the life biofill, which is quite a handy little setup if you're wanting to um, get tanks sort of kick started. You got the component one, two, three kit. You got uh, their phosphate minus in the large tubs, as well as uh, the carbon, the reef mineral. Got the life source, which is a product that um, it's been pretty controversial online. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm in the love camp. It does great things for my uh, bubble tip anemones. Got the uh, Hannah salinity uh, testers, which have been pretty popular of late. Got a good range of dry foods, including the uh, New Life Spectrum probiotics. Got some Reef Revolution aminos. It doesn't end. You even got some Chemi Pure Blue there. You got uh, Clear FX Pro, which is Sort of an alternative to the Chemi Pure Blue. Some of the uh, liquid foods, Keto Grow. Surely there's more, but I think we've covered a fair bit. Oh, you've got the new um, uh, Auto Aqua Smart ATO Duos. Got some uh, Life Phytoplankton. A few more uh, test kits still come out onto the shelf. And then of course, a whole heap of livestock as well. What kind of rust is this guy? He's stunning. Spots. That's a Scots, yeah, right. A little bit jumpy. They're always a bit timid, those guys. They like to be in tanks with large numbers of fish, otherwise they do get a bit jumpy. Yeah, right. Do love a gold spot rabbit. That same one from months ago. It's probably three times the size now. Yeah, right. It's still pretty small, hey? Yeah. Now this guy down here, this leaf scorpion, I have no idea how he's still here. I got some absolutely cracking pictures of him last week. He's a bit hungry today, you can see he's darkened up a bit. He has darkened up a bit, yeah, yeah. I'll put some pictures on screen and you can see how, how intense his yellow gets. Once That's... I feed him, he usually colours back up for a few days. Colours up, yep. Then again, it is also first thing in the morning, I'm assuming the lights have just come on as well, so... It's probably still in his dark camouflage coloration. Stunning Naso. Good size unit. Assuming a female by the lack of streamers. It looks like a female because the tail's quite uh, straight. Yeah, yeah, the males normally have that real, um, that oh, real, sort of yeah. She's not liking the camera much, so I'll give her some space. <laughs> then just a little trio of flame rests. Yeah. They're smashing pallets, they've settled in. How rare is a trio of flame rests? At the moment, it's very. There's some pretty strict restrictions in Hawaii at the moment. Yep, yep. Most of Hawaii isn't allowed for collection at all at the moment, which is why most Hawaiian fish have skyrocketed in price over the last 12 months or so. Yep, yep. And now that you couple that with the COVID, like the flights and stuff, just, just compounds. It makes it even worse, but yeah, they're not allowed to collect using traditional nets with a diameter of less than 50 millimeters now. Right. Um, until there's a uh, until the court hearings are all finished, okay. which makes small fish much more difficult to collect. Yeah, right. And yeah, their prices have skyrocketed. 
pretty little trio nonetheless. And then uh, the old Aussie stripies. See, there's not a small breath of that table. Yeah, this, this rock was rescued from a uh, tank shutdown and it was an absolute Aptasia forest. The um, Aussie stripies have just smashed it. But uh, unfortunately, they do also like to smash. <laughs> They're not, uh, their diet does not just consist of Aptasia, it will consist of pretty much anything, anything soft. Uh, yep, we got a bunch of corals in, I'm not going to go through all the corals individually because um, there's a million and one here, but uh, you got some cracking scollies, and in fact there's more scollies over here. A couple of crazy, crazy ultra ones in there. Trackies, let's pick up on a box of rainbow trackies doing next week. Nice, nice. Scary. <laughs> Some pretty acans. So I'm just waking up this morning. Yeah, lights have just come on. Some SBS. Now these are 60 Australian dollars a piece for uh, our international viewers. These are not frags. These are these are colonies. They're a good size. Nice coloration. Can never pick it up in the camera. No, no. You can see it in the person, that's for sure. Cookies and cream with the purple tint. Definitely. You see some softies in as well. Nice couple of leathers there. Some nice hammers. This has got some uh, interesting coloration through it. Some more SPS in the $45 tank. This gets cheaper and cheaper. Some chalice, got some um, pectinia, some moon coral, some war corals, some trekkies. And the rest of it's mid clean The rest we've got to uh, put the camera down and get some cleaning on. Nice blasto in there in the uh, Zoa rock. Nice little. Uh, yeah. That's bright. Need to get that one out on show. That's a stunner. Pyramid butterflies. White tail anthias. A little uh, bicolor blenny. <laughs> He's pretty big for a bicolor blenny. Got a uh, canary wrasse. Blue tang. This fire out there is? Yep, we're pretty much everywhere at the moment. <laughs> Got a uh, uh, Diana hog, is that right? Yep. And it's. Uh, I thought that was a Singaporean, no? Uh, cream angel. Cream angel. Similar, but you can, they're much darker in the body, so yeah. they shape. Yep, yep. These are a couple of pretty little rests. Quick fin. Quick fin, very fancy. Golden Midas. Golden Midas is a little stunner, or a big stunner. Check out these uh, anthias. What are these ones, Dave? They're a deep water anthia. They're called Anthias Tira, Tira, T I R A. Um, just got them feeding really well. Beautiful. Got a bit of like a pastel y iridescence to them. The yellow on their face is just beautiful. I love the way that they uh, tend to stare straight on at the camera, too. <laughs> got the nice uh, platinum clowns, or at least yeah. designers. You got another assortment of uh, some fancy anthias down here. The Vansies. Vansies, right, right. Big citron goby sitting up there. Some clowns. clowns on the family. Yeah, they are rippers, aren't they? Good stuff. All right, there you have it. That's um, all the stock that's in store at the Park Aquarium at the moment. I've got to put this camera down and get to work because uh, my job isn't to walk around with my phone and film it. My job is to uh, get to work and put some of this stock away and tidy these tanks. So I'm going to leave you guys with it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to pop it in the comment section down below. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got um, two seconds of your time and uh, you want to help me out, if you could hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. It goes a long way to helping out uh, this, YouTube, uh, this YouTube venture that it is. So um, till next time, guys, stay safe and keep reefing. Cheers. Bye.